Hello YouTube fans, I am here today with a look at the TomTom Tom traffic receiver and some examples of ways you can modify it to suit your needs. This is the receiver here, plugs into your cigarette lighter outlet. It's TomTom's Tom Tom's model 4UUC5. This provides uh, RDS TMC traffic for many TomTom Tom models such as the VIA 1530 which we have right here. The receiver plugs into the back of the GPS on its micro USB port and does two things. One, it allows the GPS to recharge itself using this on your cigarette lighter plug and it has built into the cable a FM traffic receiver. So this picks up signals from FM radio stations that transmit traffic information digitally. This receiver then sends that information through the USB cable into the GPS. So this does two both functions. It ask, uh, serves as the traffic receiver. It is also the charging cable. Now because it is, works on FM, it is also the radio antenna. So you've got one device that does all of those functions. Serves as antenna, receiver and charging cable all in one. Now when you use this in your car you've got this cable which is actually quite long um, all over your dashboard and if you uh, were looking for a more elegant solution a hardwired solution I'm going to show you what you need to know to modify this receiver to suit your needs. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can take your TomTom Tom traffic receiver and set it up for a hardwired installation. Now, your first instinct to do this may be to go with a device like this, which is a female cigarette lighter socket, and then simply wire the power wires up to uh, a power source inside your dashboard, put all of this wiring inside the dashboard somehow, and have just this sticking out the dash so that you could connect to your GPS. Now this might work but it more most likely will not work because not only is this a uh, power source but it's also your antenna for receiving the traffic signals and wadding up your antenna and cramming it into the dashboard is not likely to give you a good signal and get you the traffic information that you want. So a more elegant solution will be being able to separate the antenna from the power wiring and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can modify the TomTom Tom traffic receiver for a remote antenna installation. This is the uh, cigarette lighter plug for the traffic receiver and you'll see on the cable there are two sides to the cable. This side is the power side and the other side is the antenna side. The, and it's easy to recognize the antenna side because that is the one that is closest to the LED. So the wire running down this side of the cable is the antenna and then the negative and positive wires that supply power to the traffic receiver and charger GPS are in this side. So what you want to do is get yourself some wire cutters and cut across the uh, cable halfway. You want to cut the antenna side but not cut the power side. So cut across halfway. Remember that's the side that has the LED on it. Then once you make that cut, take a knife and then score down the middle of the traffic receiver cable so that you can separate out that antenna cable as far as the lump of plastic that is in the middle of the receiver cable. This is where the wiring in the antenna changes and I'll explain about that in a minute. Okay, I have a cut across the uh, cable and then split the two sides all the way back to where the uh, lump of plastic was in the middle of the cable. 
this is the side that had the power and you can see the two small red and black wires they go straight through and supply power and then the other side is the antenna cable and in this section of the antenna it's just one wire one single conductor wire and this sex uh, length of wire is what serves as the receiving portion of your antenna so the position of this wire and the length of this wire are critical for receiving the traffic signals uh, this wire needs to be relatively straight and needs to be the correct length in order to pick up the frequencies you need for traffic so once you peel this off you can position this in your dash independently of the route that you choose to run power. Now as an alternative installation you can um, use the existing radio antenna that's in your car. The TomTom Tom traffic receiver operates on FM so an FM antenna which your car already has for the radio could be used to pick up the traffic signal instead of this wire which may make for a neater more elegant installation the way to do that is to get yourself a antenna cable that matches your car's antenna system this is the standard Motorola connector it is in uh, many of the cars on the road today some manufacturers will have their own proprietary connector but this is the most common one you can get cables like this at most places that sell radio antennas like auto parts stores or electronic stores like Radio Shack the way to use this to connect to your existing FM radio antenna is to make the connection here this is the middle of the TomTom Tom traffic receiver cable and that's where the lump of plastic is and this is what you'll find inside what you can do is uh, cut this at this point this is the point where the um, antenna cable goes from being a shielded coaxial cable to being a single conductor so that's the point where you would want to solder on this type of connector not at the very end now once you have uh, attach this type of connector to the antenna side, the coaxial wire that's in here, then you'll need to connect it to the antenna in your car's dashboard, but of course you'll still want to use your radio, so you'll need to get a Y adapter, a splitter, for radio antennas that allow you to connect two devices to the same antenna. Okay, now I'm going to show you one more modification that you can do in installing your TomTom Tom traffic receiver in a hardwired arrangement. If you don't want to uh, keep this cigarette lighter plug, you can easily replace it and hardwire it in. If you uh, loosen this little plastic cap here, you'll find inside an AG style fuse at one amp. You should have a wait, one amp fuse in your final installation. To open up this connector, I just simply scored along the side with a box cutter and then eventually pried open the entire connector. And once you do that, you'll find something inside that looks like this. This is another traffic receiver that I've already opened. And you'll see here, this is the cable that leads back to where it connects to your GPS. There's the LED for power indicating power and then on this side I've removed the metal pieces that make the contacts on the cigarette lighter plug and instead soldered to the circuit board two wires that I can then connect to the 12 volt power inside the dash now at some point in this power run you should have close to where you make the connection an inline fuse holder to take the place of the one amp fuse that was in the cigarette lighter plug Going with this type of installation, you can make uh, solid, reliable connections and not rely on the fit of the cigarette lighter plug to maintain your power. One last bit of information about the TomTom Tom traffic receiver before we go. I thought I'd take you inside the FM receiver portion of it to show you what's inside there and share some of my experience with you.
If you score along the side with a knife on the receiver portion, you can snap off this uh, shell connector that's close to the micro USB connector. And this is what you'll find inside. Just a small circuit board with an FM receiver that uh, connects to the GPS via USB. This is the uh, two cables that come in from the cigarette lighter plug. On this side you'll see the power, the negative and positive connector that bring the power from the cigarette lighter plug um, circuit board into the FM receiver. And then on the back you'll see the connections for the antenna which is on the other side of the wire. There's a shield and center conductor connection for the antenna. At the other end you'll see five wires for the USB connection. Red, white, green, and then two black. One black is the shield of the wire and then the other black is a ground connector. And there, uh, if you look very care closely on the circuit board there are tiny letters that will uh, let you know which wire goes where. The reason why I mention uh, this USB connection, this is not a very long cable and you may feel motivated to extend this cable. I have had no luck extending this cable. Uh, some, here are some things I've tried. I've tried getting a standard micro USB extension cable and connecting it to extend from here. Um, the result I get there is that the GPS charges, but it does not recognize the presence of the traffic receiver. I've also tried removing this cable by unsoldering it from the board and then soldering on, soldering on a new USB cable that was longer. And again, I got the same result. Uh, it would charge the GPS but not recognize the presence of the traffic receiver. So there's something unique about this cable in the way that it's hooked up and the way that um, it mates with this circuit board that um, I haven't been able to duplicate. So that's what I know about the TomTom Tom traffic receiver and I hope that you were able to use this information to uh, modify the receiver and install it in a way that suits you.